Okay, today we're going to be talking about my 2022 hunting bow setup. This is my Prime Nexus 4. It's 70 pounds, 30 inch draw. It's a 34 inch axle axle bow. It's got a 6 inch brace height. Uh, it shoots arrows up to 345 feet per second. But as we all know, depending on your arrow weight, you're not going to reach that potential. Um, my arrows are in the 600 grain range, so high 580 to just over 600 grains. So I'm going to be getting somewhere in the ballpark of probably 250 to 260 feet per second with this bow. I've got a, an 8 inch fuse stabilizer. And a black gold rush five pin sight. For my arrows I've got a five arrow tight spot quiver. I love this quiver it really attaches really well it's got two points of contact. The first one you can literally pull right out so you're not pulling it away and then bringing it around you can literally pull it right out and set it up, and, which is really handy. I've also at times used it as the first one, I'll skip, go to the second one, and pull the second one as my first, and then I have the first one as my follow-up arrow, because it's easy, it's right there, I just grab it, and it's on. So this thing is awesome, it doesn't move, it's really tight to the bow, um, it's incredible, I love it. And it's super light too. The bow itself is really light, it's four, just over four pounds. It feels a lot lighter than that. Uh, when you're loaded up with everything else, you know, obviously you're adding more weight to it, it's gonna get a bit heavier. Um, the big thing with this bow that I really love is the grip. You know, grips will be love or hate the grip. When you pick up a bow, you hate the grip, you're probably gonna put it back down. Um, this grip is incredible, I love it. it fits sits really nicely in my hand. So Prime's grip is a nano grip. It's got uh, aerogel underneath, which is used by NASA in the space suits. Basically, the longer you hold on to the bow itself, the heat transfers from your hand into the handle and is retained in the aerogel and it keeps the grip warm to touch. Um, if you've ever shot a, an aluminum bow in the winter or in the cold months it's like trying to grab an ice cube it's freezing and it's not something that you really want to hold on to for very long so this uh, aerogel is incredible when it comes to keeping that grip nice and comfortable uh, i wouldn't say it's hot but it's definitely a comfortable temperature um, but again that only works if you are transferring the heat from your hand into the grip I've also got a Trophy Taker Smackdown Pro drop away arrow rest, which is limb driven, comes down to the bottom limb. Uh, I love this rest, it's very simple, it's very inexpensive and it works every single time. So no real reason for me to change that. For my arrows, I'm shooting the Easton Axis 5mm. They are 300 spine. I've got 75 grains of brass in the end. I've got a 25 grain iron wheel impact collar, and then I've got 150 grain crimson talon cleaver as my single bevel two blade broadhead. Also in my quiver is 125 grain battle axe from crimson talon broadheads. This is, uh, it's got a fixed blade on the end and then opens up with two massive talons that come out. This is really the time of year with the seasons. Fall season is going to be opening soon. Get your bow set to where you want it to be and then stop tinkering with it and continue practicing with it, honing your skills practice your shots, 
Make sure your broadheads are tuned. Make sure your arrows are flying true. That is number one for right now because if you keep tinkering right up and up and up and up until it's time to go, you're going to potentially be setting yourself up for failure. So get set up, find what you like, make sure it works, make sure you're tuned, ready to go, practice, practice, practice. You can never have enough practice when it comes to archery. Remember to practice how you're gonna hunt. So all year round I practice without a quiver on. But when it comes to hunting season, when I'm in a tree or a ground blind, my quiver is always on. I know some people take it off, they'll hang it in the tree. I don't wanna be moving around trying to grab a follow-up shot arrow. I don't wanna be moving around trying to grab an arrow for a follow-up shot. I want all my stuff right here. Everything that's important is right here. Very quick, that's why I like, I personally like it there. You do what you like, but whatever you're doing, practice what you're doing. So when it comes to right before hunting season, like now, I'm shooting with my quiver on because there is a little bit of added weight to it. So you want to get that extra practice in to be 100% comfortable and be absolutely ready should a shot present itself. So we're out here at 60 yards. Got my bulldog doghouse target down there. And we're gonna take some shots at 60 for some practice. Uh, primarily for me, my hunting is done in a tree stand or a ground blind and I'm anywhere from 20 to 40 yards, usually 30 or closer. So practicing out to 60 makes those 30 or less shots that much easier uh, when the time comes. Forgot to mention before, I'm also using nocturnal lighted knocks on my arrows. I fletch my own arrows, use AAE Max Stealth veins, but these nocturnal lighted knocks are absolutely incredible. They're great for target shooting, they're great in low light, they're great when you're hunting. You can see where your shot goes, you can see where your arrow is after it's landed. They're absolutely incredible. So on the fence about lighted knocks, definitely try them, they're amazing. You know, they say you're only as good as your last arrow. That's why we have to keep practicing, 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 practicing. I think I'm good. Last arrow, dead. Center, 60 yards. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Share them with your friends and let me know what you'd like to see next.